on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. I don't know the rest of the words. I can't wait to get on the road again. <laughs> It's 24emberlows.co.uk. Welcome to part 5 of the Tacken 135th scale Chieftain Mark 10 build. Whereupon we shall be working on this kind of area here, here and here. So, in this episode, you'll see me make a right on Nadja of Photo Etch yet again. Uh, if I get you in really close, you can probably, without knocking the camera stand, probably make out just there. I'm just in that corner there. I've had to do a little bit of, um, yeah, readjustment work. Zoom you in there, so it's not quite gone to plan. Uh, there was a football match on TV at the time, and as you're about to see, uh, when I actually do all the gluing for this section here and the photo etch, my brother had turned up, and our beloved Manchester City were playing, and he got quite excitable downstairs. I'm banned from watching the football because apparently I'm a jinx. Yeah, but yeah, any day. All the time, even when I'm not watching, they get beat. Um, and that was one of the occasions earlier on in the season. I think it was February, March, something daft like that. Um, it got quite shouty, quite sweary downstairs. So unfortunately, I can't use any of that footage because it's all shouty sweary. Um, and this is a family show. So you've got a, a times two speed photo, um, time lapse, even, of me gluing things together. But as you'll see, when I come back from that clip uh, later on that evening after the football finished, things had moved so I've ended up having to bodge it but if you look at it from normal viewing angle unless I pointed that out to you you wouldn't really tell so that's kind of cool and we will see uh, the GPMG being trimmed from the frame which terrified me there was a breakage right here on the gas return tube just there uh, whether that was me handling it around or whether it was me clipping from the frame I don't know but if you have access to, let me find them. I find it. I find it. Uh, I'll actually show this in a later episode. I can't remember what I was working on at the time. I'm sure I was doing this box. Yeah, there you are. These amazing little saw blades from Tamiya. Come here. Come here. There we go. These amazing. Photo switch blades. Now I do show these in a later episode. Um, I think it's when I trim the. Well, you can see the yellow of me running vest. Yeah, just in for a run. That's why I'm all. <laughs> um, when I trim the skirts for the weathered side, I went all hacky, slashy on this side. I use the photo switch blades for that. Uh, but that's like yeah, you know, much later on in the build. But I would definitely recommend using one of those little saw blades to go through them ridiculously huge nubs on the the GPMG area, and uh, particularly where you've got any kind of tiny fretwork. You'll see me cringing as well. Um, you'll actually hear me toes curl cool as I'm clipping all this fretwork away from the frame because, of, like I say, huge gates. Doing that again. Uh, so there's a quick brief. On Z. Right then, so I'll supposed to get to do this thing. So yeah, a little bit dubious, even though it's super glue and the, the, the activator are a, a really fast reaction. I'm always wary. So I'm going to leave that just in case I did miss anything. That's a good start. <laughs> Carpet must nearly had that then. <laughs> oh dear, I'm not playing anymore. Can I go on now? Go on. I'm poorly. So this is the dedication I have to you guys. I'm fighting the man flu. And I'm building stuff for you still. Because that's how I roll. Yeah, I know. Alright, so we'll get the other. That wasn't the neatest gluing I've ever done. Get in. 
lifting hook thing for the lifting of the turret from the hull. Chill people, Tony. That would be super. Hello? Is there anything on that then? Oh, very marvellous. Off there. Right. I've no idea what this part is or what its function is in real life. <coughs> it's got a hell of a nub on it again. I'd be glad to see the back of this D frame, I tell you. The size of some of these nubs have been ridiculous. If I had any idea who my MP was this week, I would write to them. Super. Go away. Needle touch. Right, that's that. Thank you. Were. So on the underside, these little parts that go on the back of the turret. You've got a silly little tab. Again, that's another gate mark. So that needs to go. I'm not saying the gate mark, it didn't line up then when I just did the test fit. I probably needed that. I did need that. Oh, Tony. Right, don't trim that part off. Otherwise, you make yourself look a silly billy like I've just done. Uh, it's fine. It's fine, it still works. Big double glue there, big double glue there. Get big double glue there. It's fine, it'll still work. Trust me. See? Did that on purpose. Don't trim that part off. <laughs> Reinforce that. Big up on the knees. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Don't trim that part off underneath. You need that. This man flow is kicking in properly now. <laughs> right, done. That's fine. Leave that to dry. Don't mess with it. Don't need you. Okay. I missed my bin completely. It's grand. Big cable reel, which I'm going to leave off. I'll leave that loose because I know. Uh, well, quite a few tankies used to take these things off for a little bit more storage in the baskets. Well, they say it's supposed to go just on the side here, like that. I think it's a telecom drill, which will look like that inside the basket. But I know a lot of guys used to take these off the side, 
keep them somewhere else just so you could have a little bit more storage in that space whether that's true for the Berlin Brigade I don't know I'm probably going to get yelled at for doing it but yeah I believe in that separate not only that, that's going to be an absolute pain in the backside to mask off so I've always got the option of adding that afterwards but it's been painted because it's going to be a pain in the backside to get in there and mask up if this is on so I'm just going to yep, do the due diligence bit anyway and sand it up back be careful on that that, that's that's piece, that's piece, because that is actually detail. So that's, that, that's preparated. So I can drop that into the keep me separate box. Wherever that's gone. It's gone, it's bugging off. Hello? Alright, so if I have a quick look at the colour scheme. I know that box is going to be white. Which is that box just there. That's all going to be white. Does that mean I've got to try and get in there to mask up? So we'll paint that basket off separately. Which means we'll leave that part off there. I'll add these two on afterwards. So these two boxes can go on separately. So we'll do the paintwork for the main area. Then add that. It says try to find the tab. Then add that. It says try to find the tab. Hello? There's a tab there somewhere. That'll go on there like so. So again, we're going to have the problem. There's a, there's a cam line where it changes from brown to grey somewhere in this area. That's going to be an absolute pain to do if that's on, and this is on too. So that separately. So we'll do the basket separately. So we'll add that off to the side, nice and safe. See, I'm actually planning now. Ooh, it's all fire extinguisher. No, I'll tell you what, we'll do that separately off camera. That's literally a case of uh, on this little box here where the antenna goes. <whistles> Just about make out the fire extinguisher underneath. Is that bouncing? So it's literally just a case of gluing that to the bottom of the box. That's fine. <coughs> That's fine. How long have we done so far? Not quite 10 minutes. So I'm just going to run off and blow my nose because it's really, really bothering me now and I can't breathe and I can't speak at the same time because it's just, yeah. So my dad's knocking about somewhere in the background. It's half time now in the City versus Borough game. In the FA Cup. Let's see if he comes out and says something silly for in the bathroom. He's done quite well. It was a big cheer when uh, when City went one up after a couple of minutes. But I've heard nothing since. He's not sworn at the TV once. I'm really impressed with him. Really impressed. Okay, so let's double check. Well, no badge. I've got that one there. Let's go to the back with that part there. So I'll do that part first. Do we? Mm -hmm. Let's do that bit first. Let's do that bit first. Get all that line up. And double glue into the back seam. Splush. Is that back corner there? Get on the opposite side. You can't see that, can you? Like so. A little squish around. Like so. Drop that plate on that way around. Like so. He 
He's mooching. I can hear him. Spent 20 minutes looking for my A-frame, and I realised the A-frames are actually where the wheels are. <coughs> yeah, uh, don't know if you can make that out. That is an ugly, ugly, ugly seam. So this is the first real major clean that we have to do. Now this will be actually going because it's a hinge. This will be going on there like so. So it's quite a visible chunk of plastic. So it's quite a big hinge that. So you have to do all kinds of work now to make that look pretty. So again, let the blade do all the work, trim most of that number away. Like so. That's not that much that we need to do. Just using the package of the blade, just take away the seam. So it's not as bad as it first looks. First glance, I was like, "Oh my God, what's that?" So it's yeah, it's not actually that bad. I'm panicking for nothing. It's fine. But stuff things like that, if you're a beginner, it puts you off. Don't let it persevere. Who? Think it through. Stick with it. It's fine. A big seam that on the inside. A little bit of graft. Job done. Simples. Simples. Yeah, we hold that there like so. A little bit of glue. What's my idea? Fuck some media, not the bait. Thank you. A little bit of glue on the back. I think so. Tiny little squash. Jobs are good. Un. Same here. Tiny little squash, just to help it grip. Chopped them. Lovely. Super. Handy dandy this way around stupid mark on the back. I like that. I like that a lot. Now 
Lovely. <coughs> right then. <coughs> right then. First glance, I was just having all kinds of panic attacks about this little uh, photo etch part here. I saw all these little folds, especially that little zigzag at the top there, and then I realised. I realised you follow the shape of the thing, the one underneath. So that's fine. I'm not going to panic about that anymore. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. So what I'm going to do instead is have a panic about these parts. <laughs> it's uh, we're trimming away from these ridiculous skates again with tiny, tiny, flimsy little parts. Oh, I don't like the way that bent. So please, do take your time. You know, it's going to be all too easy to snap these if we start hacking away at full pelt. Take your time. Now the good bit, let's trim high for that one. The good bit about this kit is it's made of a softer styrene than say the Tamiya's or certainly the Ravel's. Trim that one wide. There we go. So it's a little bit more forgiving. It's more like a, an airfix styrene. It's quite soft. So just gentle pressure will sort this out. And be gentle. Watch for any stress marks if you see any. Back off straight away. Ooh, that could have been in a better place. That's fine. Oh, there's one in the corner there. There's another place to have one. Uh, was it that part we needed as well? Oh! I don't know why, but that's reminded me of the kids' bed frame. Softly, softly, gently, gently. Ooh, watch for any stress parts. By stress parts, if um, let's see if we can get some going on this sprue here. I don't need. Yeah, so trimming away. What you might see every now and then if you move too quickly is. See how the plastic's going white, I know this isn't the greatest lighting to show it with. You just hopefully be able to pick out right in the centre there now. Where the plastic's stress, stressing and it's turning white. If you see that at any point when you're trimming things away from a frame, back off straight away. See I'm going to go sideways now, it's not quite. You can actually feel like getting softer, it doesn't work in it because I'm actually applying heat to it. And that's what the stress is. We're adding heat to it. And all of a sudden you can see how bendy that becomes. That was actually quite a firm piece. If we carry on going it should get whiter and whiter. There we go. So hopefully you can see that in amongst my, uh, my shocking lighting. Go from grey to white. Then it gets all creaked out of shape then. So if you see that as you're trimming, if you see anything turning white amongst these frames, back off straight away. <coughs> and hopefully, hopefully it won't have taken too much damage. You slope of the brew. <laughs> Frothy one this time. Yeah, it's a frothy one. So, that's that, that's that, that's that. I needed another part just here, which was J1. Yeah, J1. And then, once I've trimmed this away from the frame, I'm going to get up and stretch my legs, go for a wee wee, and 
blow my nose again. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. I don't know the rest of the words. I can't wait to get on the road again. Yeah. Don't touch me. So again, I'm hardly applying any pressure. Let the knife do the work. I'm going to have to go at this with a sanding stick. I run the risk of creating one of those stress points where it's just going to go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle like this. And I don't want to do that. So no pressure at all. That knife did work. Literally, these two fingers are just literally holding it. There's not even any squeeze going on. Same with the thumb. It's literally just resting there. There's no squeeze. Brace himself, I'll just let the knife do the work. If the knife digs in, I stop and remove to a slightly less pressure. I move to a slightly less pressure. Yeah. I've got all the words today, me. So, nice and gentle, no pressure at all. Enjoy this part. Ooh. I have a built in stress point right there. Keep an eye on that. At some point, that might go crack. Now, I genuinely don't think my camera is going to be able to zoom in close enough to this. Just on the ends. No, I'm not going to be able to do that, are we? Just on the ends of these little ladders. There's like a, a little groove that will line up with the smallest of dimples. Tiny, tiny dimple on there. Don't know if you make that out. Tiny little dimple right in the end. So try not to trim those off. It does look like it needs to come away, but don't because that's where everything lines up with. I've done that. <laughs> it's not my fault. Leave me alone. Just on that fence there, it's telling me to trim the parts away. I'm assuming on another mark of the Chieftain there would be some kind of storage box just here. I'm actually going to leave those on. Because I'm absolutely terrified that if I try hacking away at those I'm going to break something. So, they're staying. I know I'm rebelling, again. I must stop doing that. And a test fit that's going to go on at a wonky angle there, like so. I'm just going to commit to that now. What do you mean I need, I need committing? Yeah, I do. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. 
tiniest little pegs that go in those holes. If you're building this yourself, you'll actually see what I mean, but there's tiny holes, tiny little pegs. And I genuinely can't get you in close enough with the camera to show you what I mean. You should be able to hear it now as I line these up. You'll hear it catch. That's a little scratchy noise. It's fascinating. So I'm actually going to put these to get them, put these together away from the main piece. I think so, just enough to bite. He says, Come on, bite. Bite. Somebody fell over on telly. Makes me laugh that. It's never touched him. The referee can't hear you, Dad. This is being fiddly. Dab there. Like so. Just let all that catch. He says breaking it. Let me move away. Again, this is one of those really fiddly little builds for a subsection. If you just be patient, just work methodically. You know, me preaching patience. My word. There we go, so that's tacking nicely. Great. Whoops. Oh, it's still my bathing heart. That was some fun. Bombs. Go, line up your buggy.
Super. Oh, is it me? It's getting a bit chilly in here. Okay, there's one. So as we did before, it's very carefully, very gently. I've left it to work of cutting into the fretwork at the side here he says, at the side here, there we go lovely shadow well there were gaps in the uh, in the mesh then I think it's shadow or dust, one of the two Doing. Drop that one away. Yeah. Put that somewhere safe. Off to the side. Off to the side, I see. Let's clean these little tabs up. Looks on me, dear. Looks on me. Stop your wibbling. There we go. How's that? So again, nothing strenuous. Just take your time. Let your file do the work. Lovely stuff. It's actually quite a satisfying noise that. Giddy then. We're a bit giddy then. He says, doing it again. Lovely and smooth. You can tell that because there's no snagging on the glove itself. Oh, blurry. Come on, come back to me. There we go. It has a drag along where that nub was. Ooh, is that a nub? I don't think that's a nub. Not anymore. There we go. I'm going to do it differently this time. I'm going to drop this plate in first. Come to fix everything together, and then I can make sure that excuse me, the long piece all lines up. But before we do that, I'm going to do all the folds outside using this as a template because after all, it's this it's going to be lining up with and that back fence. That'll go in there like so. That'll go in there like like so. That'll go I'm getting getting like that. And this piece goes underneath. Now for the life of me, I genuinely have no idea whatsoever what will be hiding in that corner. I really don't know. Answers on a postcard. Yeah, that goes in there somewhere like that. That's fine. <coughs> so hopefully we shall go there like so. And then we've got a slack over there. Too far away, typical. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze.
Oof. I'm not a huge fan of uh, photo etch, can you tell? <laughs> yeah. So the glue slips a little bit, and also be drying, and I put the thing on, and do you know what? Battle damage. Yeah, I know. As pristine as these things were, they would have had a little bit of knocking around, so I'm gonna say that, and then hopefully this is all for the first episode. By the time you get to see this anyway, all this will have been built. So, don't know if you can just make out right in the bottom corner is where the glue slipped as it, was, as it was setting so we've completely missed with the zigzag and it's ended up going too far forward this way so all I've done is just bent it a little bit where it meets the turret and we can hide that with some spring rolls spring rolls? spring rolls commando rolls bed rolls things like that which now gives me an excuse to make some bed rolls yes there's a madness in my method. As you can see, it fits nicely on there now. So, again, that's another sub assembly done that we can bob off to one side. Uh, right, what else is there? Oh, where's that box on? Where's that box? I made a box, 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 which will line up here, like so. So, that solves that question. I was wondering if it's going to be like the Panzer. Where it hangs off slightly. And we'd have to paint it underneath, but no, that's fine. Ooh, that's why they gave us the new plate. If you remember, 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 they gave us a spare plate. Which is a replacement for that one. No. Why didn't they replace that plate? Because that matches up. That's very odd. Ah. Let's see what they've done. No, the gates are there as well. Oh, I don't understand why they've done that. I understand that. Oh, yes I do, yes I do. They've missed that bracket off underneath here. Right, that makes sense now. So, uh, we don't need that part. But we do need a key PMG. So I'm going to trim all the frames away around the GPMG and hopefully this one isn't going to snap and caught away. I think it will do so we'll go further away so I want a bit more control over when we snip this from the frame so let's say that gas re return valve tube there is very flimsy as is the the barrel itself so we should now have an empty D-frame Apart from this uh, old plate, which I'm going to put in my Greeblies box. Cause you never know, I might get uh, get around to building that, whatever it is I was building. One day. Big spaceship. Yeah, as you do. As you know. Right, so, there's a bit of gapage at the back there, but we should be okay there. He says. So I'm going to use the big splotchy white glue for the white top. I keep calling it white glue. It's not. It's white top glue. So the big splotchy stuff right there, like so. As I can feel that grip and start to melt the kit, I can whack a load on that bit as well. And that should hopefully give me a bit of grippage. I'll squish around, I can feel that gripping. Lovely. Make sure we're all square. Lovely stuff. And then once that cures a little bit, I'll just nip around all the edges with the green top extra thin. Just line up. Okay, right. Leave that to one side. Let that do its thing. And handily, Mr. Hobby Primer fits right underneath that toy ring. I like that. We like that. You stay there. <coughs> Excuse me. Right then. So remembering what we said about the stress of the plastic when we're cutting. If we see any white here now, I'm going to back off straight away now. Whether or not it'll catch on camera, I'm not too sure. What I'm just going to do is very slowly. 
that is scaring the bejeebus out of me, so I'm going to trim that one there slowly. So that didn't break, that's fine, so we should be able to. My word, that's firm. So I should hopefully now be. Ooh. The adjustable screw thing. The ammunition box we should be okay with, because that's a nice sturdy piece. We get the opposing bracket, I think. Excuse me, yes we do. The opposing bracket. Which goes flipping off everywhere. <sighs> right. Now for the part I'm terrified about. Because if I get this wrong. I don't think I can repair that GPMG. So I'm going to take care of that barrel first. Oh, we've already got a snap. Yeah, we've already got a break. Well, that's disappointing. I'm just going to move that back into line. There is quite a bit of stress through that barrel as it is. Try that with a knife first. Just a little sorry motion. Nothing major. I can see the stress line at the back. So that would have broken anyway. Oh, attack them. Please sort these out. Now, luckily, that's not too bad. That's not as nasty as I feared it would be. But we still have, now we've taken all that pressure out, we still have a bit of a wonky barrel uh, situation going on with the GPMG. You can feel all kinds of stress built into that barrel. So, I'm just going to run some extra thin in that area, and hopefully, that'll just weld everything back together. Well, not hopefully, it will do. Let's give it a little wiggle. Like so. these nubs off properly <laughs> my dad's shouting at the rugby now which I do believe may well be Scotland and England Very gently, take that nub down. So it's not too bad, that could have been a lot worse. Let's take the positives. Let's take the positives. That could have been a lot worse. Takum, if you are watching, please sort that out if you haven't done so already. Now, it's the middle of the day. I'll say the middle of the day. I think it's about 3 o'clock, something like that. And I've got a timepiece with me to double check that. There are bangs going off outside somewhere. It's daytime, so I don't think it's fireworks. The area that I'm living in, I'm hoping that's not gunfire. 
Because yeah, we do have that kind of thing around here, which is very disappointing. Really? Who goes in there? Okay. That goes in there. Like so. Nice. And then the bracket thing goes with the ray. Just here like so. Just put the glue in the hole at the front. I can get my silly fat fingers around it. Look at this bracket at the back. Oh, look at this one working left handed. Sweet. I'm not actually going to commit this to the turret. I just need the canvas hatch. I just want to make sure it all lines up before the glue sets. I'm going to find the, find the turret. I think. Couple of. Up all the. Here. Where have you gone? A lot of this stuff. So there's the GPMG and the Commander's Cup holder. I know there's somebody screaming at the TV right now. It's a cup holder. Cup holder. Cup holder. Tomato, tomato. Right. I'm happier with that. I've got a little nub to trim at the bottom there. It didn't do a moment ago, but I'm happy with that, so that's okay. I'm going to walk away, I'm going to go get something to eat because my belly's gurgling a little bit, and I'm going to refill the juice bottles. More coffee. And then, I think, roll for the big light. At the front. Yep. One more little subsection, and then the turret's done. Yay! 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 No, stop it. And there you have it. So join me next time and we'll continue building things for stuff and stuff like that. I'm not too sure because I've not edited that part yet. Um, it's all rough cut and I've not gone through it. But join me next time and we'll continue with the build. Cont continue with the build. I'm going to go and calm down because like I say I've just had a training run because by the time you get to see this uh, it'll be my birthday, for one, because I'll be publishing this on my birthday on the bank holiday. 42, my god. Um, the day before, on Sunday the 28th, I would have run in the Manchester, Great Manchester 10k thing, whoever sponsored it this year. Uh, I can't remember who, but I'm not going to say that anyway, because it's not my channel. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm all, because <laughs> I've just had a practice run. I try to crab in as many things as I can, it's bonkers. So, bubble on. See my mates at emodels.co.uk emodels.co.uk Sorry Pete, um, I'll try that again. Bob along, see my mates at emodels.co.uk Spend some money with them. Cracking much you guys. Um, I'm actually going to go and see them very very soon to be announced. 
what else was I going to say? Yeah, join us next time. Spend some money with them. If they haven't got it, you don't need it, or they might be able to order it in. Possibly. Hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I need to lie down. See you next time.